This is Courtney and today she's starting an eBay store from scratch. Over the next six weeks, I'm gonna be using my two and a half years of eBay experience to help Courtney turn her eBay side hustle goal into a reality. Today's day one and in this video, we're gonna be working through an eBay blueprint that even you at home could use from goal setting to account creation, the purchase of supplies, sourcing stock to sell, and most importantly, if all goes to plan, list up Courtney's first item for sale. When it comes to selling on eBay and trying to get started, I think there's three really important questions that you should ask yourself. So Courtney and I sat down for some lunch just yesterday and I asked Courtney why she wanted to get stuck into it and what's what's the reason why? Um, well, currently I'm working, I think I've said it before, but part-time with a um, cafe as a barista. So long-term, I do not want to be doing hospitality. Um, so I was like, I need to do an eBay side hustle. Get into eBay. my house, yeah. And then from that, obviously, how much money do you think you'd need to make to make it you know, worth your while and to be able to not be a barista at the coffee shop? It'd be probably like between four to 500. And I think you're probably gonna to wanna to be doing about five listings a day mm -hmm. to be able to achieve four to $500. This is profit after revenue. Yes, yeah. so there's going to be a bunch of work, but I reckon you can get. Yeah. I reckon you can get that with those sort of numbers. So yeah, first step of the process, guys, really make sure that you set your goals. We know what Courtney wants to achieve now with this information, and it's just a matter of setting it all up so we can go and knock it down. With goals now set in place, it was now time to go out and grab all of the supplies needed to build this business. <laughs> Just found some tape for three dollars and we've got a two set here so we're just going to take that away so this is the reseller's vision board basically i love having a uh, some form of a whiteboard to record statistics so we're going to do listings and sales dollars that come in and it's basically just a um oh, it's basically just a, a whiteboard with a whiteboard marker um and yeah it's only ten dollars and I reckon it actually looks pretty fancy too. That'll look good. You don't need a whiteboard though. It's not like a necessity when you're first starting out, but I think the fact that we just saw it and it's $10, it's kind of a cool thing to get us going. Yeah, this could be it. This is only $6.12. $2. I can get two of these. Although they're only 30 litre. Those ones are 34 litre, but these are half price. I reckon that's a good, that's a good size. It's so that's only, so we've got a 30 litre clear without wheels and you don't need wheels. Well, you don't need to pay for wheels. Um, and then you could go, which they don't have in stock, a 34 litre, but that's double the price. So we're just going to go with two of them and then the lids should be somewhere. They should be there. There you go. So eleven dollars sixty nine for twenty five meters worth of bubble wrap, and twelve dollars for two storage tubs. So twenty three bucks. Add that to the uh, overall cost. So we're going to be using some core flute for the background of Courtney's photos. Um, probably going to get two pieces because uh, your your tabletop isn't white, is it? Not white. Not white. And we kind of want everything to be white for the photos, um, it's really, really important. So we're gonna actually be using some sunlight, some natural light for when she takes it. There it is down there. Perfect. What about just white cardboard from the newsagent? No, I think get this. Right. But I think it's better. It's better because it's sturdier too. Yeah. Um, it's and it's also bright white. Bright white. Yeah. It's a really nice bright white. So if you, if you do one like that, and then one like that, that's going to be our little listing station. Literally, we're working in a very limited space, which is probably a lot of people would be. Yeah, limited yeah. space. And this sort of thing here, if you've got even less space, you can do it upright. Yeah. Versus on the side as well, so. Yeah. We've got an extra, is that 14 Yeah. $14 to set up our listings. That's pretty good.
All right, so we've got two tubs, and this is all going to be for Depop because um, Courtney's doing a little bit of Depop selling for her clothing. So she's got already these listed. Go and give her a follow on it. What's your, what's your Depop handle? I don't know, actually. We'll put, name. we'll put it up on screen. Yeah, so go it put it in the link below. But go and check out Courtney's Depop. That's all that there. And then we've got a bunch of books that we're going to start to list up onto eBay. So these are going to be Courtney's first set of listings. Yeah. Big question is, though, we don't know if it's going to fit. <laughs> I don't know if that will fit. It looks pretty tight. I have no other storage, so it has to. It has to go under here. We can get some other tubs if it doesn't work. Oh my gosh. That is perfect. Oh. How good is that? Oh my God. I can get a few under there. And that goes under there. You wouldn't even know. You are up and running. Storage is set up. That's looking pretty good. Okay. And this is what I was thinking for the listing side of it. Again, limited space. So. Yeah. It's a cool pad. Right. So I'm like, what is this? Core flute? Core flute. Yeah. Yeah. Out on the balcony. Moving our outdoor little table. I like it. So you just rest up the core flute on the wall. Yeah. And then I can put it back so we can actually move it. Yep. And literally, I was just thinking the natural lighting. Yeah, that'll um, work. And it's bright light. Because I don't have room to put like the light boxes and keep the station set up. like. There's three of us living here, so... So three people in a pretty... For three people, a relatively small unit. Yep. you got no real no real space here, but then you come out onto the balcony and you can have your own little setup here. I think this will work well. Yep. And you've also got the natural sunlight that's going to hit it in the afternoon as well, so your photos are going to get naturally bright. And when you're first starting out as a seller, yep. I think having bright light is like the best way to start from just natural light. Yep. Yep. Um, you don't need the box lights just yet. So this will be, this will be sweet. I think the photos will turn out pretty good. And then I can just literally slide that behind my bed. You can hide it under the bed. Yeah. Yeah. That's epic. And there's your little listing chair. Yeah. How good. Yeah. So part two of the setup is to create a bunch of different accounts that you're going to need to run your business. And there's quite a few of them. You've got uh, your create, obviously, an eBay store. You've got to create an ABN. Uh, your Australia Post, my business, you've got to integrate eBay to Australia Post and also your income and expenses spreadsheets. We went with the basic store subscription uh, on eBay, so she'll save on a few fees there, and that was simple to do. You've successfully subscribed to a basic store. We then went ahead and created an ABN number, an Australian business number, and registered her as a sole trader. And then we also opened up an Australia Post, my business account and integrated that to eBay. Success. All right, so we've officially integrated Courtney's eBay store to the Australia Post My Business. And if we had a sale, we could import the eBay orders and she could do her postage with the satchels. The satchels I've already bought and then I can pay for it here, but I will be writing it for now. Yeah, um, Courtney doesn't have a printer here at home. And I feel like not everyone would have a printer. No, not everyone will have, yeah. no. And some people have got the exact same setup as you've got where you're on limited space mm -hmm. and no home printer. So you can just use your pen mm -hmm. um, on here on the desk or just jump on the floor and just write out the details on the satchel. Um, but this is a big step. This is something that you want to do, guys, integrating your Australia Post business account with your eBay account. Courtney and I just did it in two seconds um, and it's really going to help her from an efficiency standpoint when she makes a sale. All right, so we've done the next step, which is just creating a bit of an Excel spreadsheet for Courtney. So these are the books that she's listing up. It's a pretty basic template. Um, it's just grabbing the purchase price, listed price, sold price, postage and fees. And then that'll give her her overall profit. So she can clearly see that she bought all of these from a thrift store for $12, $13, and all of them came for free from home. Today, we went out and spent $60.43, and we've just itemized that out with an individual cost for each unit. And Courtney's just going to keep doing it on a monthly basis as well, just to keep track of those numbers. So two easy sales, income and expenses. We're good to go. So Courtney's got 12 listings, but she's going to need 35 to complete her first week. So we're going to go out and do some thrifting to try and find some really low cost goods that she can go on to flip for a profit kind of learn the process by using the eProfit app to work out whether or not the buy is a good one or not. Sell-through rate is obviously going to be an important step as well. So these are some of the things that I'm going to educate her on while we're in the thrift. Fingers crossed we can find a few more items for her. Let's go in and have a look. So we've just found a bunch of Emily Roeder books here 
um, Del Toro Quest, really good book series. So how many are there? Five books there and that. And then Courtney's found this as well. So it's the Hardy Boys Adventures. And there's books one to six there as a bundle and it's only five bucks. So five dollars, there was comps on eBay for what, 38? But that was one to five. One to five for 38. So these are all a dollar, dollar fifty, and that's five. So it's probably ten dollars in for some pretty, hopefully, quick selling books. Cost of shipping would be like. I'd go ten dollars on that. Oh no, you've got a five, so you can put that into a small. So that's a nine dollar, nine dollar postage. Item cost is fifteen fifty. Fifty. So you double your money. So this, this we've just found this six feet under. It's only fifteen fifty. It came in today. 19th of April and we've just put it into the e-profit app which I've told Courtney to jump on and there's some good comps as you can see there sort of selling anywhere between 40 to 45 dollars so that's going to be a 14 dollar profit when it goes on to sell and there's some pretty good comps to justify it that that's a brand new seal oh, okay. so brand new yeah. it's selling for 70 yeah. but yeah I would buy that and give that a go and a big box set like that should do pretty well so we've actually just gone ahead and tweaked a couple of things out here. We've realized that the sunlight is actually better putting it on the balcony fence. Um, so we've gone ahead and done that. It was originally just here on the window, um, but that was causing Courtney's shadow to get in the way of the photos. So by just moving it here, Courtney's now got a really bright shot. And have a look at that. It looks super bright on the core flute. These photos are gonna be turning out really, really good, just what we want. The other thing that we realized with this first listing is that it's actually a first edition as well. Um, so that should mean that we can go for a little more. We're thinking now $39.99 uh, and advertising the title that it's first edition. So for a very first listing on eBay, it's a, it's a pretty good start. All right, we're ready to list the very first one. Looks pretty good to me. We've got some postage charges in there. We're gonna do international shipping. There's a $1 listing fee associated with all new seller accounts. So go ahead and fire it away. So it definitely has been a pretty massive first day, but we're able to tick off all the items on our to-do list. I'll link Courtney's Depop and eBay page down in the description below. So go and check it out. We just did a couple of different things by creating a eBay store banner as well today. I think it turned out pretty cool. We're doing a bit of a grand opening and there is a 15% discount for anybody that wants to buy the few items that she has in her store. She's slowly gonna build it up, but it's just nice to see her underway. And we're also gonna be doing this over a six part series. Over the next six weeks, we're gonna document the growth of this and, and, and obviously watch to see how many sales come through uh, by pulling all of the right strings to get as many sales as we possibly can. So hopefully it's something you might wanna to subscribe to if you're new to the channel, if you're thinking about getting onto eBay, um, hopefully this video can be a bit of a guide for you to go ahead and do exactly what we've been able to do today. Hopefully Courtney can make a few sales. I'm looking forward to following it along. We'll see you soon.